After breaking all previous scoring and rushing records at Lake Howell High School, Marquette Smith was Florida's top recruit and USA Today's National Offensive Player of the Year. He started his college football career in Tallahassee, but when his particular skills weren't put to use, he came to UCF for a better fit. I was curious to see what it was going to be like going from Division I to 1AA. I got there and realized, hey, you know, our practice was structured the same way it was at Florida State. Um, we did the same type of drills, the same conditioning, the same format, and I saw the type of carries that Willie English was getting before I got here. So I decided, you know, hey, that would be an effective offense for me to get into. Before graduating, Smith would set a host of new records, including rushing yards in a season, touchdowns in a season, and career yards per carry average. When it came time for the NFL draft, he was able to lean heavily on his UCF experience, and he was picked up by the Carolina Panthers. We ran that pro-style offense, uh, which prepared me for the NFL. We had a huge playbook um, at UCF, just like we had a huge playbook when I went to the NFL. So I know walking in training camp and I was in that class with all the rookies when we walked in the door, everybody's like, oh my goodness, you know. That's more than I studied in college. Smith entered training camp for Carolina in 1996 on fifth team. But when the quarterback unintentionally called a switch that the new recruits had never practiced, the well-prepared Smith knew exactly what to do. When they called the adjustment, I, I, I was just sitting there real quick. Wait a minute, I noticed, I noticed, I saw this last night, and I made him a right read, and you know, the coach was just excited, jumped up, and, you know, and, and, and the next day I went from 15 to first team, and then from there I, I wasn't letting him take it after that. It was my job after that. Smith's future was bright but his career suffered a crippling blow when he blew out his knee during his rookie season. Even as he struggled to recover, he resumed play in his second year with Carolina, relying heavily on his other knee to support him. I just trained, trained, and trained to get back, and, and I knew in my mind, back of my mind that I wasn't ready for the 97 season, but um, I was making, breaking a big run against um, the Broncos, gave the hard move to the right, which is the opposite of my other knee, and, it just exploded, and that's why I ended up hanging the shoes up. It took a long time, my dad kept me at his side. It's time to hang that shoes up. Smith would go on to play in the CFL and XFL before truly putting football behind him. Today, he works the law enforcement-based contracting business his family started when he first joined the NFL, but he still keeps in close contact with UCF. Looking back over his football career, Marquette Smith credits his teammates and his family for helping him to achieve his dreams as he enters the UCF Athletics Hall of Fame. It's very exciting. My family's very excited about it, and you know, it's, it's just an honor to be even considered to be inducted. You know. But something, something I got to accept as a, as a team, or as at least as an offensive unit, because there's nothing on that field I could have did without you know Coach Gooch, or with the guidance that he gave me, or with my, that offensive line I had. I mean, I've had a good family surround me, keep me through and keep me up in those days when it's tough and I'm thinking, oh, what am I going to do now? You know, kept me on my feet and kept me motivated. So, you know, I've been blessed to have that kind of family backing and the support of my family systems. Mm -hmm.